My name is Rhapsody. Welcome back to Ziggurat. Alright, we gotta play someone. We gotta play someone. So, the Ziggurat shows strong hate towards this hero. A fervent worshipper of the gods with powerful healing abilities. So, self-healer? Okay. Uh, where's Sid? Sid, Sid, Sid. We unlocked Sid as well. Or did we... Low initial stats, but learns a lot faster. Are you kidding me? How am I not gonna take Sid? Low initial stats, but learns a lot faster? Motherfucker probably has five levels of Scholar. And... Five levels... Do you have anything? You have three levels of Scholar. It's okay. Oh god, that's not even a good starting weapon. Alright. Well, can only attack while in the air. This is awesome. Oh god. Are we gonna die in the first room? I'm having a lot of difficulty dealing with this negative right now. We easily could have died in the first room. Okay, so maybe this character is one that I want to get into when I'm not horrible at the game. Like, I'm feeling like I'm almost certainly doomed here on the first floor. Okay, every apprentice gets anxious when they start to think about their mort where their mortal souls go. Knowing that as soon as you're born, you're bound to be dead. But did anyone ever think about the creatures that mercilessly crushed before their own eyes? These creatures enslaved with the dark side exist merely for you to test your own strength. Nobody thinks about them. Who is it to say that the corrupted soul of a banshee or a mandrake aren't trapped in these forgotten walls for all eternity? Who knows if these creatures weren't human beings in their previous existence and we've leveled up? Another level of Skola. Oh, are you kidding me? We go, if, we, if we are about this life, we're all about this life. We go all in. I'll get five levels of scholar and one level of sensitivity. Don't test me. Well, I mean, the whole game is about testing. Sh shut up. I know. <laughs> okay, at least the magic wand is... Okay, so it's not a four-shot magic wand. It's a larger amount shot magic wand. Which explains why some of the other magic wands I've been using recently are so shitty. Because they are four-shot magic wands on their burst fire, which is what I'm currently doing. So, last time I played, I was playing Jules. And we left the first level just having hit level three. So now, if we leave this level, we're probably going to be on level five. Double damage, reduced movement speed. Okay, I can do that. Okay, never mind. My standard fire is also a burst, so I don't understand how to play this. This wand must be different to the standard wand. I thought this was just the standard wand again. God, my mana usage is a bit... I didn't want to have to come down to their level, but I'm going to need to pick up the experience sooner or later. Otherwise, I will lose it all. And every single little bit is super important right now. Okay. Treasure rooms more frequently, of course. No qualms about taking that one. That's pretty much the easiest choice I've ever had to make. Okay. Minions. Thankfully, it's a very large room and very, very few minions are spawning in it. How am I not supposed to just easily win this? And let's just get the next level quickly. Erudite. Guaranteed level up when picking up a lore scroll. Typically, there's a lore scroll per level. I don't know if Erudite is the correct thing to pick up right now. In fact, I'm almost certain Erudite is not the thing that I wanted to pick up. But, at the same time, it is new. So, it's got that kind of shiny new veneer to it that makes... No, it's just a bad idea. It's a stupid idea. I'm trying to defend it. Don't listen to me. I'm wrong. Ha ha ha. Disregard that. 
and other internet memes from the Bash era. <laughs> All of you follow one path and jump at me at the same time, please. It'll make this all a hell of a lot easier for all involved. Specifically me. Alright then. Where is... Secret... Oh. Still no secret room, damn it. Secret rooms are weirdly less important as this character. Because they only give you one perk, whereas completing an extra room pretty much gives me a perk as well. Thanks to all of the scholarships. So their relative value goes down, basically, is what I'm saying here. God, just die, please. Damn. Uh, I have to get Bookworm, actually. I'll get the other level of Scholar later. I have to get Bookworm. It's super necessary. I thought that guy was still poisoned from the porcupine bomb, but it looks like he may have actually been green. It's not easy being green. Uh, there we are. Oh god, how did I miss that? Boom. And... Magic Missile. Considering how focused I am on picking up experience gems, it's fine, I guess. Uh, this is still a pretty shitty floor. There was no gift. Well, not gift. I mean, there was no... What's it called? The thing, what isn't a gift? Deal. The... Fizz. Oh, God. I don't like this fight. I do not like this fight. I might... I'm probably dead right now. Oh god, I just don't have a weapon that can really do anything. See, if you get up close and personal, this guy destroys you. Yeah. Well, hopefully we unlock something that run. I don't think we would have unlocked something that run. Yeah. We're doing it again. It's just a really poor weapon to start with on a character who already has really horrible stats. What you want is something that helps you decimate the boss. Okay. I'll take it. Did two shots almost expend my whole mana pool? Is that what just happened to me? I'm just checking. No. We had a setup for a good run, but really we needed to defeat that boss and continue moving for it to actually become one. What does... Okay. I was just wondering what the alt fire is. God, my eyes are super itchy right now. I don't know why. Ugh. Increase your staff mana pool? I do want that, but the first level being Scholar is so good. And the staff mana pool, luckily, this one doesn't actually expend an incredible amount of mana very quickly. So I can probably get away without taking it. With all of the... With the fact that 
my wand is by default a shotgun type weapon as this character. I really have to get up close and personal, and then I run out of mana really quick, and then I run out of everything else really quickly as well. If I got like wand boost as one of my first abilities, I think we'd be Still don't have the portal key. Still, after all of this time, having completed one room, don't have the portal key. Oh, never mind, now I do. Too easy. Alright. Let's see. Oh god, I love the ramps. They actually work. You can run off of a ramp and just get mad height. Okay, next level is going to be life awareness. Magic Missile is fine, but honestly, I don't think it's anywhere near viable when placed next to Life Awareness, which is one of our huge problems. God. I filled that enemy with lead and he still stood. I was just expecting to shoot him a few times and walk through him and continue, and it was going to be grand. But no, had to be stubborn. Uh, potions give you more health, fine, but unless we get a potion very quickly, that's not going to be enough. Oh shit. Oh. I need a potion like right now. Yeah, no, we're dead. Is that not a potion down there? Nope. God, please, just one of you drop a potion. No, God. That's not a potion! Okay, I managed to kill all of you without taking- well, I did take a single hit, actually. So I redact my entire statement. Take final level of Erudite- sorry, final level of Scholar rather than Erudite. We doing this. Because it's possible that we actually get HP on the other side. Which might be enough to eventually save me. Alright, come on. HP, please. Add some HP. And an amulet doubles alchemy attack rate for some time. I have no alchemy. But it was HP. It saved me. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Oops. That was not correct. Gosh. Alright, let's just run away for a while. I've already been to my secret room. It gave me Druid. Just trying to remind myself of the very important things here. So what does Eagle Staff really have over other staffs? I should read its bio. Alright, Eagle Staff. Where are you? Marks with tracking runes. Easy to use and very effective against weaker enemies. Okay. So let me guess, it auto aims. Sounds about right, doesn't it? Uh, straight through the boss downwards. Okay. <sighs> Come on, not King Blob. 
What would be better, actually? Anything? King Blob might be my best. Ugh. Yep. There goes all of my attack power. And now it's down to nuking him for no damage. I'm just not good against King Blob. This guy reminds me of Monstro a lot, just because it's a fat lump. And also because it seems vaguely unfair to start with. Although Monstro, when you start learning more, is fine. Monstro is just okay. There are some, God damn it! I died while I was killing the boss. There are some attacks Monstro can do that just aren't fair at all, even slightly. But the majority of the time, monster is, is monster. It's fine. Shuffle. Discard your current weapon to get new ones with improved attack rate. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm going to try one last time with this character. Because this character seems like the character I want. They seem like they have everything that I want. They have huge potential and absolutely no ability. Scarab Beetle Staff. A goddamn gen. We had this with Jules last episode, and it was like... <laughs> Anytime I wanted to use it, I didn't really want to use it. But Jules, at the very least, in some ways, had a decent wand. This one's pretty bad. Nope, Scholar. Can't lose max HP. Not right now. 20% of my max HP. So, 10. Yeah, it's still pretty big. Considering how many times I find myself below 10 health, that seems like it might kill me. If I had, like, increased perk availability or an extra perk per level up, I would be all I can't do it right now. Okay, here's some experience for us. The Queen of Madness. Ancient legends speak of a beautiful wraith that haunts the dark chambers of the ziggurat, tormenting the unfortunate wanderers in her path. Her ability to both amaze and deceive has pushed many travelers to a deadly fate. Most skeptics claim it's merely a hallucination, created by tired and strained minds that has surpassed its very own sanity. Whatever truth lies in all of this, you should not try to meet her along the way. Alright. Another scholar. Here we go. That's all of the scholar I can get. Now, I just need to live. Spells do extra damage and everything else does less. Well, that's beautiful for me and my spellless build. Thankfully, it is a small room, so I might actually get some usage out of my Scarab Beetle stuff. Sorry, I've just got to wait 5,000 years while I regenerate my mana. If you could just stay there, that'd be really nice. Still haven't found the secret room. I don't know if I've ever had a Nichi in nose. It... I don't know why, but it only seems to happen when I'm recording. I've also watched a bunch of other LPs and streamers recording and noting, hang on, my nose is like really fucking itchy right now. It's never, it why, what is going on here? I think there is something about the timbre of the voice that you need to keep while you're recording that vibrates the nose in such a way as to make it itch or feel like the sensation of itching. Now you might say, Ryan, that sounds stupid as hell. And I would say, yes. Anyway, so we're in this room. <laughs> it does sound stupid as hell, but I don't know, it could be true. I'm not gonna say it's a theory, that's a hypothetical that I'm proposing. 
I hit harder when my health is below 25%. I kind of want to do that. But uh, I'm actually going to regain health when I break things. It's always that. Oh, some nice offers. Okay, here we go. 30 staff mana. During next combat, enemy drop rate is increased. Eh, reasonable. Off of the health. One more perk per level up. That's it. That is it. We cannot drop this run anymore. This run is the god run. We have five levels. Five levels of scholar. Oh my god. Damage for everyone. My enemies are going to do quad damage too. And there is the secret room over there. Okay, never mind. We're fine. Whew. Free level. Increase my health limit. I cannot tell you how much I love that. One more perk per level up. Five levels of Scholar. You can see the synergies here, can't you? If you can't, seriously, like, really? Honestly? Are you okay? Please don't throw me in against the boss. And if you do, please don't throw me in against that boss. Just let me have another room so I can get another level before I have to fuck. Alright. Never mind, it's not... It's not Master Blob, it is Sir Arthur the Eternal Warrior, which might actually be worse. Actually, we'll start out using this. So that we can just let it regenerate while I'm using my other weapon. Picking up all of the mana in its pool. Oh my god, we're fine. Oh, we've reached level five. I think, I think we're in. Enjoy. When hit, you're invulnerable for a short period of time. Excellent. I guess we have to take Vigilant because I don't want the other one. I ain't going to gamble with this run. This run is exactly where it needs to be right now. We on it. We got it. This is where we go madly out of control. Race rings. Okay, it's reasonable. It's certainly an item. There's the portal key. And no other paths. So it's just like portal key and leave. Don't have to go down that side of the map ever again. Give me those free levels up. Oh man, every single experience gem that disappears without me picking it up is a tragedy. Life awareness. And infinite mana until you get hit. No. Go with Warlock. Do I get hit often enough? And we even I've also found my secret room already. I don't know if I could be happier right now. Nope. Wait a second. And nope. Okay. There we go. Sure. Free level of Vigilant. I'll take it. I'm not going to be disappointed about it, although I am quite disappointed. Uh, no. I have the portal key. I'm not ready to do that yet, though. I could get an easy extra five. No, five. They come in groups of two. Four or... Hang on. Trying to think. You have to understand. It must be difficult for me. 
perks before I have to go in there. Enemies are respawned once. Why? Well, at least the enemies that make up you aren't respawned. Just the original. A lot of green mana around here. Plus also, if things are respawned, by necessity there is going to be something in their original position. So maybe the bounces are actually going to be helpful this time. Uh, I'm going to go with life awareness here, even though I do want treasure rooms more frequently. And Wrecking Ball again. Already found the secret room. Don't need to be looking for it. Uh, what am I, what am I doing? We'll use this. I hate it when I walk into a room and I still haven't formulated a game plan. Usually it's because I don't have a weapon that just clearly outranks the rest of them, so I have to scramble on figuring out what weapon to use every single time. Definitely the case there. I think that's why playing as certain characters is so much easier. Just because certain characters, your choice of weapon for them is obvious. They are the Staff Master. Well, guess what weapon, weapon you're gonna use, isn't it? It's the goddamn Staff, ain't it? Whereas enemies that are novices with all weapons, or equally adept with all weapons as well, have the same problem of, what do I even use them? Somebody just needs to tell me. I can only take commands. I cannot inform my own strategies. Alright. Let's go. Recover some health and energy. Don't mind if I do. Oh, no. I have a spell book right now. Divine gift health obtained in drops is increased. It's it's amazing. It's insane. It's incredible. I imagine the chance for positives from those is probably decreased in hard mode, if I had to guess. It's kind of disappointing, I'd have to assume. I'm not gonna be disappointed by it until I actually play it, and it turns out that is exactly what happens. Because other than that, just tweak, tweaking the enemy's health up and the player's damage down to make a hard mode kind of seems a little, uh, bullshit. Just a little. Gosh. So close to a little more leveling. Have we picked up Bookworm yet? I think we did. Yes. Just making certain. Unfortunately, I have no mana for my best weapon right now as well. Oh, is this Audrey? Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this one. And clean up the map as best as possible. Usually, I just try and go very quickly for the kill using an alchemy-based weapon. But, uh, I don't know. 
if you've looked at what I'm holding, surprisingly few alchemy-based weapons in there, actually. But it's like I'm trading one mana for the other. Run out of Wraith Rings. Suddenly have a bunch of mana for anything not Wraith Rings. Run out of Beetle Scarab Staff. Suddenly have a bunch of mana for my Wraith Rings. Well, I feel like I've decided exactly how I want to be combating Lady Audrey in the future. That's good at least. Increase spell mana pool. God. None of these are good. Cover a little bit of mana at the start of each battle. Yeah, none of this is really good. Is it caffeine? Oh, that would be it. I digress, by the way, back to the itchy nose. Is it caffeine? Does caffeine make noses itch? Is that a known thing about caffeine? If so, that would explain everything. Because I am horribly addicted to caffeine. Well, it's not exactly a horrible addiction. It's completely fine. It's just because I never stop having caffeine. You know what would actually be really cool? I'm just starting to think of features that would be awesome in this game. Like environmental traps. Like if you could shoot a chandelier above enemies in a certain room and damage all of the enemies because the chandelier dropped them. That'd be so cool. And then you just have to like kite them into the right position. Oh, sensitivity, 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 sensitivity. Oh, I had to, I had to though. So I take triple damage, but I gain triple experience. So I had to because I already have five levels of Scholar. And I've got a decent HP pool as well. It's not like I've got an abysmal HP pool on top of this that is going to exacerbate the woes. But also I have Bookworm and I get two perks per level up. You can't tell me you wouldn't have done what I did. If you, if you say you wouldn't have done what I did, you're a liar. You're a goddamn liar. Okay. Thick skin, reduce the amount of damage you take, 100%. I can't take consumption. I can't do it. Take life awareness. How many of you expected me to say, I can't take consumption, we can't do it, and then immediately take consumption? I've grown out of that. Mm-hmm. I put away childish things, and now I am a total adult. One adult human being right here. I was considering it, yeah, definitely. Right. Drop you. Thank you. I really need to figure out how to evade their ground pounds. Because when I jump, it still hits me. Okay. What do we got in here? Uh, increase alchemy, mana pool. Actually, I'm going to go with health potions grant double health, but maximum HP down by 20%. And increase enemy drop rate. Those are going to synergize softly in a way that I'm going to get more HP potions to show up. Hopefully. Let's get a free perk in here as well. Feet 
Phil Lighter. Avatar Tennis. Released on to... On? Released in... You know, the Avatar Tennis game made on consoles. And I have to come in like a wrecking ball. There we go. Get as much HP back as I can. Nope. Portal key. I didn't even realize this was a boss room. I would have accidentally run into the boss room and had to start fighting them if, uh... If I actually had the portal key. Thankfully, I don't. An HP potion? It tasted like an HP potion. I can tell because I actually have HP now. Okay. Yes. Give me all of the experience. Yes! <laughs> it's beautiful! Alright, I gotta level up before I continue doing this. Consume your current weapons to get a 50% damage boost on their weapon categories. Too easy. Uh, <laughs> increase your max and current health, but reduce the size of your mana pools. Go with Vigilant on that one. Well, there go all of my weapons. God, I'm gonna find some. I like Dark Forge. It's all risk or reward, but I now need to find a treasure room that gives me a weapon, which I don't think is that likely. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to use my wand for the rest of this map, which is probably going to kill me. So, almost certainly, that was a horrible idea. I made a horrible mistake. Uh, and I would like forgiveness. But also, it was definitely a horrible idea. And please forgive me. So, yeah. Persistence, definitely. And I'll take a surprise. Oh, Thank you. I took surprise there just in case there's a perk that I haven't unlocked so that it I don't even know if it can give you perks you haven't unlocked. I'm assuming that much just for this. Thick skin. And thick skin again. The amount of damage I take is being reduced drastically. Oh god. It's dropping mana left, right, and center. Like, oh, what's the problem? You don't have any mana? No, I, I've got mana. That's fine. I just don't have anything else. Okay, Scaredy Cat and Invulnerability are really cool, though. Anytime I get hit, I'm just going to be running around very quickly whilst immune. So it's the ultimate get out of jail free card, basically. I wonder if that's going to be enough to keep me alive after having thrown away all of my weapons. <sighs> weapons? In a dungeon? Who needs these? Although I will say now, if I get, like, any weapon, I'm going to win. <laughs> Actually, there are some weapons that won't be enough against the final boss. Whoops. Weapon! 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 It's a lot of experience, though. And it's a really good amulet. Shit. Stop it. Stop giving me amazing things. It's too much. Space it out. Put it in a bunch of other runs. Not all in the same run. It's like when you have an amazing run in Isaac. Now, this isn't a direct Isaac comparison, so I think this is fair. It's like when you have an amazing run in Isaac and feel like, hang on, but 
I've had so many shitty runs in a row. Couldn't you have saved one of these items? One of those? This run would be slightly shittier. But those runs wouldn't have been as bad as they were then. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, that is not good. Thankfully, anything that is like damage over time, like flamethrowers... Increase enemy drop rate. Dark Forge! I don't even have any weapons to lose. So now my weapons are just uh, like 100% better. But I don't have any. Which is fine. Now, <laughs> any weapon, any weapon wants to show up will be grand. Or if I got wand boost, that would also be. Because I imagine it would try and consume a weapon, I wouldn't have one, and then it would just give me double damage on my wand. This is, of course, my theorizing as to how it would work. It's entirely possible that it wouldn't work in such a way and that I'm an idiot. It's entirely possible that it would work in such a way and I'm still an idiot. We'll never know. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck off. No shaman. Okay. Discard your current wet. Oh, discard all of your current weapons and get new ones with improved attack rate. Did I just get? <laughs> I'm not taking Dark Forge now. Did I just get weapons? No. Ah. I thought that might actually have given me weapons because I didn't have any. That's sad. difficult to kill that one enemy. Please stop. It is really, really difficult to kill you. Like, actually too difficult. Like a boss level of difficulty right now. Oh, of course, you're over this side of the map. How could I have not expected such a thing? Finally, you're dead, though. equal by the way if you just saw the mom gem i picked up at the end of the last area you might say hang on how is he not leveling up all of the time but many mana gems are worth different value they're basically worth the threat value of the enemy that you use to kill them so the more powerful the enemy that you kill to get it uh i have to go with vital energy on this one Max and current, and then I'll go with this one. Uh, the more powerful the enemy that you you killed to get the mana gem, the more mana... Sorry, mana. Sorry, the more powerful the enemy you used to kill to get the experience gem, the more experience in said gem. If each gem gave me the amount that the huge dinosaur last room gave me, we would have leveled up like 50 times in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to go fight the boss with no weapons. All right, well, rip us. We tried. We threw, 100% threw. 
Like hardcore throwing as well. None of that soft core throwing shit. If we if we survive this buff, by the way, we will win the game. <laughs> I actually just can't see a way that that would happen. Curse of a royal knight. It took me like two minutes to kill a non-boss person. How long do you think it'll take me to kill the boss person? Because I got guesses. So I think here's what I do, right? I go all up close and personal whenever I have mana. Destroy as much of his HP pool as possible. And just run away while I regenerate. Like... As long as this dude doesn't have any summons, we might actually have a shot. If this dude summons anyone with Fox, though. Because by this point in the game, you're pretty much expected to have an AoE weapon to deal with area of effect stuff. Oh god, that was really bad. That was directly on me. I cannot believe I survived that, and we're fine. Like, this has got to be it. We're done. Uh, take another Wrecking Ball. I already have the best amulet, so I'll take a Druid. So here's the part where they give me Frozen Soul. Call in it now, Frozen Soul, immediately as soon as I go down to the next level. Frozen Soul, directly in front of me. Just don't be alchemy. I can't use alchemy for the whole map. I can't do it. Fucking alchemy. Fire weaver bomb. Oh, God! Well, that almost just killed me. Real glad to have it. Reality's in red and blue. Let's just go pick up the experience we've dropped. If all of these enemies are just going to be chasing us, we can just kite them into a tunnel like that and kill them. So we can fix course. Telekinetic. Oh, man. Okay, so I was talking shit about this weapon, but I don't know if any other weapon would have dealt with, like, uh, dealt with that as effectively as it was just dealt with. I'll take Spell Collector. And I'll take... Amnesia. I'm trying to increase my alchemy pool size. Whilst increasing every other pool. You have to be kidding me, right? These liches aren't dying to the ground attacks.
Oh no, they just have an incredible amount of HP. All right, just checking that. It's okay. We got you now. I got your number. Boom. Level 23. Okay, so they have a huge threat level as well. That's pretty good. Uh, we're going to increase the staff mana pool to make everything a little bit more equal. And I guess I'm going to go with Druid. Nothing to collect in here anymore. No, we've got all of those perfect. Let's move on. See, this might actually make the boss easier. The Fire Weaver. It depends. If it's a floor-based boss, this might be a lot easier than I was thinking. But if it's a ground, if it's a you know height-based boss, especially if it has summons, like that's the end again. That's the end that I foresaw previously this time actually occurring. Did that lich just summon itself? Don't they need someone else to do that for them? Oh! You smarmy git! Thank you! Whew. Finally! Okay. And we should be cleared of all of the enemies in this room very quickly. Whew. Uh, yes, thick skin, of course. One boost. Yep. I don't even like the Fireweaver grenade. I don't. I just don't even like it. But now I'm gonna have to kill the boss without it. But also my wand will deal decent damage at least. So I've got that going for me, which is good. That is a losing strategy. Now, if only I could increase my mana rate or size of my mana pool for my wands, this would be a lot better. <laughs> sure, use Dark Forge again. Does Dark Forge do nothing if I don't have any weapons? I'm just thinking about the wording of it in comparison to the wording of Shuffle. Discard all of your weapons and increase their weapon categories damage by 50%. Discard all of your current weapons and get a replacement weapon for each. I think it might not be having any effect. Dark Forge, that is. I hope I'm wrong, but somehow I don't feel like I am. Fine, we survived at least. Good lord. Take a break for the itchy nose, then get back to it. Oh, the ground pounding is too much. It's so real. Whew, finally. Oh god, no. Fire one still exists. 
I mean, technically they're all using the same element, so... I guess they're all the fire one. Finally. Okay. Now we've got our portal key. We know where our boss room is, don't we? No crosshair. This is fine. I played enough Counter-Strike 1.6 at school. I don't know why, but when I was at school, there was no crosshair. I don't know if that's a default feature of that game. I never played it when I wasn't at school. I wouldn't play it in my own time. I would only play it when I was meant to be learning. And of course... I mean, I guess my big problem with this is that I can't see the HP of the enemies. Which actually is quite a big problem. Oh, you know what would be worse? Like, way worse? Can't see your HP. Imagine that. That would be ghoulishly horrible. Thank you for sending out a magic missile. Oh, another Wraith up here as well. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we're probably not going to level up before the next room, though. Damn it. The trick is to just not focus. <laughs> that was fun. Alright, uh, let's get some mana. Yeah, for the weapons we don't have. Next floor, if I get a good... First off, if I make it to the next floor. But secondly, if I get a good weapon, when I make it to the next floor... Which... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. This is bad. This is really bad. Yeah, how are we going to kill this in time? Any bright ideas, anyone? I wonder if the Fireweaver bomb would have done work against this. Like, whether it would have just shredded it instantly. Oh, God! Does it drop that much stuff because of all of the things I have that make it drop more stuff? Scavenger? See, the problem here is I still have to kill this before I kill any enemies. Okay. I'm just going to go hide for a while while I recover my HP. And by HP, of course, I mean my mana. As I always do. And what can we get this time? I'm thinking alchemy pouch. And you know what? I'm thinking we might actually need consumption. Hmm. I'm taking it. Oh shit. I don't even know if one boost will stack. I guess I should try. I can't take consumption again. Another two levels. Guess I take a random perk here. Oh, it was And final level of telekinesis. I if this has like quadrupled the damage that my thing does, then we're in a real good position. Otherwise, eh, not really. It looks like it might have, actually. I'm cautiously optimistic about... Oh, 
Okay, now I'm not long. Uh, I am no longer cautiously optimistic. I think it didn't. It just felt like it did for a start. Maybe because I'd already peppered some damage into those enemies. Will it say like wand bonus two? One boost. No, it's just singular one boost. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to try that again then. Extra experience, no drops. Actually, that is 100% okay with me, as you might uh, might be surprised to find out. But uh, extra experience for a character who's been focusing their entire build on getting extra experience might be appreciated. Uh, treasure rooms are going to be important. I'll get my final level of telekinesis. Need to be on the higher plane. There we go. Perfect. Makes it super easy. Okay. Have found the secret room. Just making sure. Do I have to just go to the boss at this point? No, there is one available room left to explore. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, I'll say that much. Oh god, that's not where I wanted to be. This is where I wanted to be. Come on, treasure room with a weapon in. Not a treasure room. Almost certainly not a weapon in. Unless we get some sort of a... perk that gives us a weapon. Kill the shamans. Perk? Rare weapon perk. No. Okay, we'll take scavenger and... One boost again? Uh, no. We'll take a... Another level of scavenger. Hell. So, Scavenger is at the very least going to allow me to get a really high score, which hopefully will allow me to get a bunch of new perks to choose from in my next runs. Hey, it's a treasure room. Weapon? It's not a weapon, but it is a perk. Potion is giving me more health. Fine. Reasonable. All right, let's go fight the boss and be super sad. I really want to know the mechanics, by the way, if anyone is actually 100% certain. Armchair theory crafting is fine as well, as long as you label that it's arm cr armchair theory crafting. I don't want to take someone's word as like gospel and then find out they were wrong. It's gonna be impossible. You're gonna be a summoner as well as an air enemy. Well, it turns out, yeah, there's the summons. It turns out that the, what do you want to call it? The fire weaver grenade would have been a business. So I guess I'm happy that I consumed it for the wands. Maybe not happy the, as quickly as I did it, but. As long as I stay and continue circle strafing, I might actually get this guy. Could happen. Just focus on my dodging while I'm healing up mana. Oh god. Is this gonna work? Oh no, I about this one. Bye! Yeah, that ought not to have worked. Okay, I'm gonna go down to the next floor before I pick my perk. Perks, plural. Yeah, our score is already beyond any score I've ever had. Just based on the amount of experience and items I've picked up thanks to Scavenger and obviously anything giving me more experience. So, I would be fine with losing this weapon, is that true? Yes. So, I'll pick it up first before I upgrade. I had to try. 
We'll learn something either way. Can I see the amount of damage my weapon does at all? Okay. Or is it going to say two levels... Of, okay, so it doesn't say two levels of one boost. That, that two shot, that two shot an enemy on the final floor. Shit, I think one boost actually worked. Oh god, it really looks like one boost worked. I'm gonna try and get another one boost if it shows up. Uh, go with spells. Just because spells are typically more powerful. I, I really want to go with consumption, but I don't think I can afford it. Because there's no perks in the perk pool that actually increase my HP anymore. Is that true? Is this a one-off? The d d d vital energy. Is vital energy a one-off? Because if vital energy can show up again, then I have to assume vital energy many times. And if it can show up infinitely many times, then if I broke the game the same way that I did in episode two, I'd actually be able to get myself back to like 2000 HP. Whole game here is just find the shamans and kill the shamans. Okay, I saw one way up here. Yeah. If you didn't want me to find you, you shouldn't have tried to shoot me. You too. Okay. One to boost again. Vital energy does appear. Does it show infinitely many times? Because if so, I'm going to break the game with consumption. Like, at that point, it's not even a question. I just do that, and we win with every perk in the entire video game. Are you kidding me? Okay, this, this shaman had to have been spawned late. There is no way I missed it. I'm gonna run a whole MF and map looking for those MFers. Of course, standing for Mother Fathers. Oh, scroll. Uh, okay, so scroll is erudite. Yes, I already have arrow do it. Okay, so I want to pick up the scroll after I have all of the levels. This really looks like it's doing double damage. Like, I mean, double, double. And if it's in the pool infinite times, it doesn't make sense for it to be in the pool infinite times if it only ever works once. My main concern, I guess, is do you need to have consumed a weapon to get the increase? I would, I would have to characterize that as my main concern. Vital energy. I have to take consumption when it appears. I think I need to finish this room first, though, as well. Oh god, it's definitely doing, like, triple-triple. Oh, wow. We might actually defeat the boss with our basic weapon at this point. This is kind of... Like playing Isaac, it feels like. Not Isaac the game at this point. I'm talking about Isaac the character in Isaac the game. Uh, in that there's a lot of breaking potential in this character. I can totally see it already. And I don't know if you know how much I love breaking. But I fucking love breaking games. Oh, man. 
There's nothing better than the joy of winning the game in a way that was possibly intended, but definitely not intended for general usage. Making yourself ridiculously overpowered through some sort of a convo uh, convoluted set of things that you had to accomplish. Okay, now I want to go get the erudite. Because this is just a free level at this point. Kaboom! I'm almost there. Sorry, it's almost there. I almost got it. It cost me an arm and a leg and part of my sanity, but it was worth it. With this many explosives I've gathered, these damn walls won't be able to stop me now. I can hear some whispering voices coming through the cracks. Through the Sorry? Coming through the cracks will stop me now. I just hope the whispering voices will stop now. Okay. I can't stand it anymore. They speak to me through these walls. Nobody trusts me. But there's something here I'll tell you. Probably gold or mana. Some more mana would be great. And they laughed at me. Idiots. Fools. Let's see who's a fool once I blow this place to pieces. <laughs> That's my best crazy voice. All right. Let's do our levels. Have erudite. Vital energy. We need to pick up vital energy every single time it appears. If we want to try and pick up consumption. Oh man. Maybe consumption's not gonna appear as often as to let us break the game. That's gonna be sad. No breaking for Ryan. Oh. oh, thank you. Sorry, just stumbled in here. Go about your business. I do not have any equip ready to deal with that. I need a lot more one boost. God, sprint upgrade is so good. It's just quality of life good. It's not actually good good. But I can jump across that chasm. It's so good. Not actually good though. I just want to clarify that I never mean good when I say good. Unless, of course, I clarify afterwards saying I meant good when I said good. Two shots. Like, they're the strongest enemy in the game. The strongest non-boss enemy in the game. And it seems like one boost on one boost works. That's all I can say. Seems like it too. One boost. Uh, gotta go for the last level of haste. Would have taken that actually if it appeared. levels can I actually get? This is my question. Or does consumption count as getting extra levels? Because it says it counts as getting an extra perk, but the way that it functions in the way that it works with the gifts makes it seem like it gives you an actual extra level. Seven. I have to take vital energy whenever it's available. Scarf Scavenger. So I'm taking all of the things like Star Scavenger and Haste. I'm taking a bunch of them just because I'll get the fifth level of them and then they'll be out of the pool, right? I'll never have to choose from it and something else again. Which means that more likely I'm going to get things that only show up when the pool is empty. Like... Or things that will have to show up more when the pool is empty, like consumption. Uh, have I already found the secret room? I have not. Okay. 
Just making certain. Oh, there it is. Whew. Wow, it hit that down in two. I'll collect a level five as well. Awesome. Toxic enemies is fine. Oh god! The big feckers. They die in like two shots. It's insane. Also, all the level of thick skin might be stacking, I feel. Oh, and we'll take that shit. I mean, I know the levels of thick skin are stacking, but they're stacking in such a way as to erase the negatives and possibly even more than erase the negatives from sensitivity. Which is amazing. Here we go. More experience obtained from knowledge gems. Less experience obtained. Okay. <laughs> it should have just been happy with what I had. No one needed to get greedy on that. That's a weapon. That is a weapon. Oh, it's a bunch of levels, the map. It's awesome. That's worse than my fucking weapon. Oh, Lord. It's worse than my standard wand. By a lot. Dark Forge? No. Warcry, I will take the final alchemy pouch. Okay, let's go down here and get some levels as well. Kill some more liches. Liches get stitches, yo. Liches get stitches. I mean, I'm probably still just going to use the hell out of this. But I'm also going to be aware of the fact that it's not really as strong as my main. I'm so fast! I'm so fast! <laughs> just jump through the whole level. Is that a weapon? Did you just fucking... Really? Really? Okay, so Chibo, by the way. My speed is... Oh, was it disactivated when I didn't when I didn't take Cheetah Bow with me? Cheetah Bow, I mean the Cheetah Amulet. It greatly increases your speed. My speed is already... Oh my god, I'm flying. <laughs> I'm off to my home planet. Goodbye now. Well, I guess I always wanted to explore the cosmos. Scavenge? Mm, damn it. Really? That doesn't even one-shot? My fucking wand one-shots them. Magic missile. Magic missile! I was forced to say it twice in a row, it had to become magic missile! Which is, of course, my impersonation of... Uh, 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 what's his name? He's, he's in Community, that TV show what used to be good and then wasn't good anymore and then was okay, but not really that good. The trials and tribulations of Dan Harmon trying to make his dream project. Argue that he didn't go on to bigger and better things. Rick and Morty, specifically. Oh god. I can nuke them out of existence with a single- It's so good, though! Don't let this happen. Hmm? 
what game designer slash balancer slash both let this occur? So you what, this just proves the need to have me on the team for QA in games. I'll make sure that no one can break it by breaking it and telling you how they did it. I'm actually too fast. And that's the whole map. Let's go defeat the boss with only our wand, because why not just humiliate the boss? Of course, there is a relatively high chance, now that I've said all of these things, that the boss will humiliate me, in which case, please forgive. I'm only this cocky because the game let me do this. Don't blame me, blame my upbringing. Please stop sinning while I'm singing. One of the things about Cepheus is you never want to stand next to them. So of course, directly in front of your face. At all times. I mean, it's just a huge problem. Because my weapon is a shotgun. But I have to run away to let my ammo regenerate, basically. Yeah, one. There's no way that's... There's no way that's allowed. Goodbye, Cepheus. You've been destroyed. Achievement unlocked! Second to none! The examiner, for witnessing your ma... Uh, sorry, witnessing with pride your ma... Oh, good lord. So, I happen to know that this is different every time, because the first time that I succeeded this, it was not... So we're just going to watch again to see if something else happens. Maybe the ending that I got the original time. Maybe something else. See, I can't be certain if I try and skip the individual scenes here that it's not just going to skip every scene. No, this seems like the same one I got last time. Yeah, this definitely seems like the ending I got last time I actually succeeded this in the series. I don't know what triggers the other ending, the one that I got when I played it off camera. But there is an ending where you're just teleported away and you have to go face new horrors elsewhere. But the game doesn't continue after that. At least as far as I'm aware. Alright. Let's get our score, which is going to be like over 3 million something. 3.4. Pretty good, I think. Sid, new game modes have been unlocked. Menzi the Shaman. Death pack saves you from a mortal hit. Turtle greatly reduces the amount of damage you take, but also reduces the... Uh, depends on the scaling there as to whether or not that's really good. Oracle, you won't get divine punishments at shrines. Amazing. I would play every single shrine if I picked that up. Staff of Atlantis. Uh, high chance of freezing enemies. Instantly collect all drops in the room with the Amulet of Magnetism. Pretty good. On right here, but I'm still proud enough of the performance that I had a great time. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Ziggurat. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself, and we'll see you next time.